longer the future. Digital is now. In regards of my own policy vision, which is enabling access to politics for more women, I believe that digital is an efficient tool in identifying the core issue to why women are still afraid to engage in politics and provide a shared platform to co-design new regulations, laws, and proposals. The internet and social media provide us with an amazing opportunity to connect with people from all around the world, confront our ideas with their experiences, and make sure that the laws to be passed will actually address their main concerns, because politics should serve people and not the other way around. The first idea is to spread information about human rights and women's organizations and victim protection centers through the social media platforms. Although important in all policy areas, automation and digitization are highly evident when it comes to early childhood development programming, ECD, whose social, economic and developmental benefits can shape a nation's future. Efficient ECD programming requires governments to draw on data from different organizations and sectors that serve children in order to create a clear data landscape. Therefore, it is imperative for central governments to effectively create and manage interlinked databases. I think that the role that social media has played recently and will play in the future uh, regarding policy making is that uh, we we'll, we'll not only have the ability to educate lots and lots of people, to inform them, but specifically to set the agenda. Here in Mexico, what we have done is we have been able to sit to the table policy makers and decision makers because of the social pressure that we have been able to put through social media. Digital gives policymakers access to a wealth of knowledge and experience from across the globe, sharing conversations, expertise and ideas instantly across borders and time zones. Critical to this and where my policy vision comes in is a digitally connected world where barriers to innovation, connectivity and access are removed, yet it's delivered with the principles of free speech journalistic code and safeguarding its core. The very nature of digital is dynamic and democratic. Therefore, the future of digital is unpredictable and ever-expanding. However, the role digital will play in policy making is primarily through data intervention. Data collected through digital is transversal and so it will result in more holistic policies and policy makers that are more connected to their constituents. As far as my policy is concerned, a digital platform would be established in order to share the stories of migrants, their families, their children, and the volunteers to serve them throughout their day-to-day -day journey. As a major transit country for these migrants, Mexico has a moral obligation to improve the infrastructures that are meant to be in place to protect and serve these migrants and refugees. Digital technology such as animated video series can be used to educate and engage girls on how to effectively manage their period. To break the stigma and myth around menstruation, female chatbots and documentaries can be used to educate girls and to answer any queries or concerns they have about period. Digital technologies can be used to make this conversation interesting and fun for girls to discuss which they might otherwise not be able to discuss and be a little hesitant or unwilling to discuss so openly. I think the digital era is inevitable and is getting more and more relevant by days. And digital tools and devices can help us provide a more accurate uh, and more solid evidence-based policy making with a more accurate data and information that we can benefit from. Digital policy making has a lot to offer Northern Ireland. Specifically, we've been able to build a strong technological sector with specific focus on cybersecurity, with investment and economic growth post-conflict. Northern Ireland has had the opportunity to develop jobs and businesses. However, in doing so, it is incredibly important to make such process inclusive for all. Through a comprehensive digital healthcare policy in Egypt that fosters worldwide partnership opportunities between all stakeholders, from uh, researchers to patients, will go a long way in narrowing this knowledge gap. It will also remove most of the infrastructure obstacles that are already present. My policy in education is I want to see that the curriculum is designed in context to the best. Therefore, this digital platform can help me to spread my ideas to ask people's opinion, to find and to search for facts and evidence in order to be delivered to the government. With the government's Digital India campaign and initiatives like National Digital Health, 
we can advance our healthcare ecosystem to be more transparent, efficient, and people-centered. Digital tools can be used to design policies that are more timely, data-driven, and inclusive. The education ecosystem needs to strengthen the imparting of digital education in schools, which in turn will introduce girls to various career options, including those that allow them to work remotely or through freelancing in case preferred. Tackling gender inequality is an intricate and lengthy process, but digital technology can definitely help fast-track progress. Digital transformation gives women the possibility to access finance, improve their access to information, improve women's health and the health of their families and communities, as well as give women access to education and other social services. For a young country like Pakistan with increasing focus on entrepreneurship, a digital strategy for youth development can help them sensitize about developmental challenges and make them opt for social entrepreneurship for a more sustainable development. So overall, I'm hopeful for the future of digital and policy making and what it means for women and people of marginalized experiences, but we'll need to tackle the issue of equitable and affordable access to digital technology to make sure that no one is left behind.